Recording in progress. We are, I see we are 18, uh, are all honorable members uh, in this meeting? Chairperson, are all our members in? I'm checking, I'm checking with uh, Marcial, is all the members from select committee in the meeting? Good afternoon, Chairperson, we have four members. I think our other members are all connected as we speak. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thanks, Marcel. From our side, I see Honorable Mobo, Honorable Sheriff, Honorable Mpiti, Honorable uh, Mamsonti, Honorable Tongo. Um, how many are we? Uh, it's myself, one, two, three. So we are eighteen. Uh, Nediswa, we we can start, Chair. I think we do form a quorum. I'm not sure from your side how many members are you expecting. According, from our according, side, we are six. Yeah, according to Marcella, members are in. Those who are not in here, they are busy trying to connect Jefferson. So I think okay. we got a quorum. Okay. And start. Thank you very much, uh, 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 honorable members. Uh, Nediswa. Yes, Chair. We are calling for certain members now. Yes, Chair, I can. Okay. Um, 
the, um, do we have any apology? Okay, I let me declare this meeting officially open since we are forming the quorum and uh, welcome all honorable members. I see um, Who is it, Miren? Chairperson, it's Mr. Nsubi. He's one of our members. Oh, okay. Okay. So, how many members from your side, Marcel? Currently, Chairperson, we have five, so we're correct. Thank you, Chair. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, um, honorable members. Uh, I welcome you all, uh, honorable members. I declare this meeting officially open. And um, uh, over to you, Chair. Good afternoon, Chairperson, and good afternoon, members. Um, from the select committee side, I think we are a full house. If there's no apologies, Chairperson, let me then also welcome all members um, attending this joint meeting this afternoon as we conclude our work on the um, NYDA process. I think um, it will be proper, Chairperson, to thank the subcommittee members for all their hard work although it was a recess and amidst the COVID-19 and also amidst the, the situation that is faced within the country. I think um, we can say a job well done to all members of the subcommittee and we can come this afternoon before both um, committees in a joint sitting and we can, we can conclude on our work as we just finished our subcommittee meeting um, with issues that was raised last week by the members of the different committees. Um, we can come and give you a report um, this afternoon that the subcommittee has concluded its work and that I will hand over to the chairperson of the portfolio committee so that the portfolio committee can first deal with a report that will be um, presented. And after the portfolio committee, the select committee will then deal with the report as, as will be presented. So thank you, Chairperson, also for your leadership um, during this um, trying times. And also to our staff members, all support staff. I don't exclude any department, everybody who was there of assistance. And we can today give a message to the young people of South Africa that yes, we have concluded our work and we have dealt with every aspect that was there to deal with and the legal department um, was with us all the way. So over to you, Jefferson, um, so that we can share the good news with the people of South Africa. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Yeah, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, I want to remove this. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson, for your uh, words of wisdom in terms of your opening remarks. And um, Chair, maybe um, I think now all members are here. Why is it kind of important to be here and support you and to get up? No, it's fine. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Um, let me leave it because I don't know why it's doing like this. Um, uh, let's get uh, the, the, the apologies. Nelisa, are there any apologies from yeah. our 
Yes, Chair, um, I, I received one apology from Honorable Malulega, who's not feeling well. Thank you, Chair, from the Portfolio Committee on Women. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Nelly. Uh, we wish Honorable Malulega a speedy uh, recovery, because even during the times, uh, uh, during our interviews, she was sickly, but uh, she made it that uh, she ensured that uh, we she's part of us up until the end. Um, I think uh, the reason that we have convened today in this joint um, portfolio committee and select committee, the purpose of today's meeting is uh, for the for, for for us to give reports to the joint uh, committee meeting uh, so that uh, we we close our our work. Uh, we have come to the end of our project uh, in filling in vacancies of board members for the NYDA. Uh, first of all, we want to thank all honorable members of the both the committees uh, for the support that you gave us uh, during that uh, difficult time, whereby we were under pressure and uh, it was not easy, uh, but through your support, uh, you were making us aware of things that were said on social media, on the work, the work that we're doing. And uh, thank you very much to all of you, honorable members, who ensured that uh, we, we soldier on, even if how hard it is, uh, but you were there for us to give us support. Thank you very much, uh, 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 honorable members. We want to also thank our staff members uh, who were with us from day one up until the last day for the good work that they've done. Uh, hence, we even uh, recommended to Parliament, to the manager, and all the managers of uh, all the our staff members, uh, the research unit, uh, the secretaries, the content advisors, the coordinators, that uh, the staff that we worked with up until the last day, they deserve a, a bonus. Uh, they need to be assessed uh, correctly because the service that they provided during uh, that uh, from the inception of the project up until the last day today, uh, they ensured that everything that needed to be done is done correctly. We also want to thank uh, our legal team chair, uh, Mr. Jikella and Dr. Teme, for the legal advices that they gave us from day one up until the last day today, uh, within our, the, the meeting that we held, the closed meeting that we held. And up until now, they've been with us from day one up until the end. That's why we were able to do to deal with issues of litigation. It, if it wasn't for, for them, uh, we we're not going to be able to do things uh, accordingly because they were there to interpret the law uh, where we don't understand. They were able to clarify us so that we are able to follow processes and procedures, rules and, and procedures of parliament accordingly so. But we want to thank you very much. We want to also thank the, the, the media uh, uh, people uh, who ensured that uh, our statements are always out. Uh, even today, we will want uh, uh, our uh, media people, our uh, the communications division, that they must send out a statement on behalf of the work that we have done up until today uh, and, and express some dissatisfaction on uh, media, uh, social media or, uh, or other media houses who were writing things that were projecting as if there were things that were not done correct by this subcommittee, uh, by our subcommittee, which was not a true reflection of the work that we've been doing 
since uh, uh, day one up until the, uh, the last day. Uh, at some time, we saw that uh, there were things that were written that uh, there will be an NYTA process. I don't know whether it's falling down or Ria or Ria Kukuwa, uh, but uh, those things, they, uh, 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 they put us under pressure also, as if maybe there was something wrong that is happening in the subcommittee that we are not following due processes. And it, it, it leaves uh, the public not to have confidence to the committee, which was not correct. Uh, and, and it was not a true reflection of the work that we've been doing all along. And also we want to thank Abo Shelly, who've been there for us, giving us support up until the last day that they ensured that social media, uh, whether it be it, uh, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, our meetings were open and transparent so that the public can be able to follow our meetings as the, whatever, wherever they are, uh, whether even the person who's not having a TV was able to watch our, 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 our meetings, uh, especially all those open meetings that we held because this, the, we had only had two closed meetings. Uh, it's the, the one, the, the other one, the second one is the one that we held today. Uh, but also, we want to thank the, the youth of South Africa uh, who showed interest and whatever comments they were saying, we, we, uh, we accepted those uh, uh, comments, whether uh, those that were constructive, uh, uh, there were lessons that we learned from them, and even those that were negative. Anyway, uh, sometimes they were unfair, and, uh, but uh, as, 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 as members of parliament, we, we learn from what people are saying, and we were able to manage uh, things where there's no sound and so on. They were able, they were members, Honorable Enpiti and Honorable Masiko were tasked with that responsibility to check on behalf of the committee on whether there's a problem on social uh, 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 media. Uh, and when there's a problem, they were making, uh, they were letting us away with the chair so that we can be able to talk to Abu Shedi. And we want to thank Abu Shedi uh, uh, very much for the good work that they've done in ensuring that they televise our meetings on time accordingly to all uh, 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 the, 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 to the public and to the people of South Africa. I want to thank this, the chairs of parliament, both chairs, uh, chair of chairs, Honorable Frolic and, and Honorable Jomonyambi, uh, and uh, the speaker of parliament, and uh, the, the chairperson of NSOP, Mr. Masondo, the speaker, Honorable Tandimudise, uh, Mr. Masondo from the NCOP. We want to thank them every, very much. And our chief whip, who was always there to give us the both chief whips, who were always there to give us support in whatever, in, 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 wherever when we needed the support, they were always there to give us support. We thank Honorable Ndongeni for being with us uh, in, and working with us to hit the road running. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Dongeni. And uh, uh, we want to thank all of you, uh, Honorable Members. Uh, PMG, uh, yeah, it's PMG, uh, the person that was deployed to our meetings, uh, he never misrepresented, misrepresented facts, but everything that he wrote about uh, our, the outcomes of our meetings were, were correct. We want to thank you very much. Uh, but honorable members, I think uh, today we, and as we have uh, resolved in our last meeting, to say let's let's go and finalize the the report. As the, there were other outstanding uh, 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 reports from the state security that needed to be concluded uh, by, by by the state security. So that we 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 we, find, we close our report and we are able now to publish the report to to table the report to Parliament and be able to go to the present our report to the House, which is the National Assembly and the NCOP. Uh, I think we can confidently uh, report today that we have done our work 
accordingly and we have satisfied ourselves as we go so that no 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 so we want to thank honorable members for being active in those meetings and we can report on the work that we've done today and who's going to present is it dr tembe or is it a Uche is going to present. It's myself, Che. It's Nelly Zwa to present the report. Okay, uh, present the, uh, the report. Okay. Where is your, your novela? I'm here, Che. Oh, yes, novela. Uh, may you please assist? Uh, 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 even to present the last uh, 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 outcome of our meeting. Thank you, Chair. Um, I've just shared the screen, um, the draft report. I hope all members can see it. Um, it's the draft report of the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities on the feeling of. For the national youth development, the circles with disabilities. Oh, okay, chair, can I? Uh, I can take over, chair. I will then ask Kunediswa to move it up and down for me, please, so that I can okay. quickly read through it. Um, Yes, Chair. Okay, yeah, I am. Uh, can I proceed, Chair? Yes. No okay. Okay. This is the draft report of the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities on the filling of vacancies for the National Youth Development Agency Board, dated 15 July 2021. The subcommittee of the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities, and the Select Committee on Health and Social Services in after referred to as the subcommittee, having considered the referral by the speaker to a resolution of the National Assembly dated 3 September 2020 and the decision by the National Assembly Program Committee, NAPC, for the Portfolio Committee. Sorry, can you just go up a little bit? I will indicate when you had to go up or down, please. Where am I? Can I go up again, Nellis? All right, there, there you are. For the Portfolio Committee to reconsider its report to fill vacancies for the persons to serve on the board of the National Youth Development Agency, reports as follows. As an introduction, the NYDA was established in 2009 following a merger between Unsobom Youth Fund and the National Youth Commission the NYDA derives its mandate from the legislative frameworks, including the National Youth Development Agency Act, Act 54 of 2008, the National Youth Policy 2015 to 2020, and the Integrated Youth Development Strategy, IYTS. Section 9 of the NYDA Act stipulates that the board consists of seven members, two of whom are executive directors. According to the Act, members of the board hold office for a period of three years, and are appointed by the president on the recommendation of parliament. Can you go up, please? The term of office of the NYDA board expired on 31 May 2020, and both the Portfolio Committee and Select Committee are jointly mandated to consider the filling of these vacancies and make recommendations to the National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces, respectively. Number two, subcommittee process and procedure. Can you go up, please? A subcommittee of the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities and the Select Committee on Health and Social Services was established in terms of the NA Rule 172 and NCOP Rule 106 to be responsible for the appointment of members to serve on the NYTA board. In terms of these rules, the subcommittee must report its activities to the principal committees, which are the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities 
and the Select Committee on Health and Social Services. Can you go up, please? On 3 September 2020, the, the National Assembly resolved to return the report of the Portfolio Committee on the filling of vacancies for members of the NYTA board for reconsideration and reporting. This resolution was followed by the decision of the NAPC on 28 January 2021 for the subcommittee to restart the process, having due consideration to demographics, geographical representation, as well as persons with disabilities on the list of candidates to be recommended for appointment. A meeting of the subcommittee was convened on 9 February 2021, and the committee resolved to restart the process in line with the NAPC decision, and as such, accordingly adopted reports to give effect to that resolution. The reports of the Portfolio Committee and the Select Committee were published on 9 February 2021 in the ATC of 9 February 2021. It was further agreed that the new subcommittee membership should remain the same members who served in the previous process. Move up, please. The new subcommittee of the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth and Persons with Disabilities and the Select Committee on Health and Social Service Program was accordingly adopted on 9 March 2021. The composition of the subcommittee is as follows. From the National Assembly side, we have the following members, Ms. C. N. Daba, Ms. F. A. Masigo, Ms. B. Maluleke, Ms. T. Mweba, Mr. L. M. P. T., Ms. N. Tlangwini. From the National Council of Provinces, we have Ms. M. Gillian, Ms. A. D. Maleka, uh, Mr. M. Inchabeleng, Mr. M. R. Baha, Ms. B. Matebu, Matevula. Ms. B. Matevula replaces Ms. S. Lutuli from the NCOP side. Ms. S. Ndongeni replaces Mr. M. Inchabeleng from Limpopo. 2.1, the public participation process. In... Can just go down a little bit, 2.1. Uh, in line with the NYTA Act, which provides the procedures and processes for the appointment of the board members, Parliament advertised on 20 March 2021 in various local, regional and national newspapers, including the parliamentary website, inviting applications and nominations for persons to serve on the NYDA board. The deadline for the submission of applications was 9 April 2021. A total number of 1,117 applications, including one duplicate application, were received. This brought the number of applications received to 1,116. All applicants' curricular vitae CVs were published on the parliamentary website between 18 and 24 May 2021. Having published all the CVs, the subcommittee discharged its duties conscientiously and with all due regard to the requirements of thoroughness, openness, and transparency. Moreover, all CVs and supporting documentation were catalogued for safekeeping on a secure internal, internal recording platform of parliament Uvimba, which was accessible only to subcommittee members and the support staff. 2.2, shortlisting criteria and process. The minimum criteria for appointment as a board member are set out in section three and disqualifications in section 10 of the NYTA Act. Desirable criteria for shortlisting entail persons who are South African citizens knowledgeable and experienced on youth development interventions in enhancing their capabilities as key agents for socioeconomic and innovation, having a proven performance on youth development, leadership and participation in youth structures. The following categories of persons are disqualified from appointment to the board by section 10 of the NYDA Act. Can you go down, please, uh, next one? An unrehabilitated insolvent, a person who has been convicted and imprisoned without the option of a fine or fined more than the prescribed amount for theft, fraud, forgery, perjury, 
an offense in connection with the promotion, formation, or management of a company, any violation of the Public Finance Management Act, or any offense involving dishonesty. A person who has, as a result of improper conduct, been removed from an office of trust, or a person who has been declared by a court to be mentally ill or unfit. According to the NYDA Act, the board consists of seven members, two of whom are executive directors. Members must be appointed in a manner ensuring, one, participation by youth in the nomination process, transparency and openness, and a short list of candidates for appointment is published. Can you move up? Further, move up, please. Further, a short list of candidates should reflect the, demo the demographics and the geographical spread. Sorry, can you just move up? I don't know where I was now. Can you move up, please? Then? All right. Further, a short list of candidates should should reflect the demographics and the geographical spread of the Republic. Of the total number of 1,116 applications received, 113 applicants did not submit a curriculum vitae and or copies of qualifications as was required in terms of the advertisement. These applications were automatically excluded from the disqualification, which led to a total of 1,003 CVs from which the sub subcommittee could choose a shortlist. The subcommittee met on 25 and 26 May 2021 to conduct shortlisting for interviews. Due to the large number of applications received, the subcommittee resolved to shortlist 40 candidates for interviews. The committee also ensured that the shortlist reflects the demographics, geographical spread of the Republic, as well as a recognition of persons with disabilities. The names of shortlisted candidates were published on the parliamentary website on 27 May 2021. 2.3, verification of academic qualifications and security clearance. Chairperson, can I just indicate that this is where most of the changes in the report appear at 2.3. Um, yes. Yes. So, so at this uh, paragraph, I will also read out what transpired in today's meeting, as we have asked me to give a report on it. So, this part will give that part, that report, Chair. Okay. 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 You All give, give, yeah. Give, yes. Two point three. Yes. All shortlisted candidates were subjected to an academic qualification verification check and security clearance in order to adhere with Section Ten of the NYDA Act. Positive, positive confirmations were received from the Human Resource Unit of Parliament of the academic qualifications of all the 17 recommended candidates. However, by the time the subcommittee concluded the recommendations process, the complete state security agency report was outstanding. In the meeting of 8 July 2021, the committee resolved to await the complete SSA report before proceeding with the adoption of the final recommendations report. Can you go up, please? At the time, the SSA had submitted a security clearance report of only 12 of the 17 recommended candidates. The committee was also informed that three of the recommended candidates received negative security clearance. The committee then resolved to hold a closed meeting with the three affected candidates to allow them to explicate on the SSA findings as per the legal advice. This was intended to comply with the Audi principle as the candidates did not have an opportunity to address the subcommittee on the findings by the SSA during the interview process. However, at the meeting of 15 July 2021, the committee agreed that the three candidates are absolved in terms of the NYDA Act. Thus, all the 17 candidates are fit and proper to be recommended as candidates to serve on the board. 
can you go up, Nelly? 2.4, interview guidelines. The subcommittee adopted an interview guideline to ensure that the interview process is fair and within the ambit of the NYDA Act. The following interview guidelines were adopted. Interview by introduction by a candidate, sector knowledge, which is the NYDA Act, integrated youth development strategy and national youth policy, knowledge of the national development plan, good governance principles, youth development experience, innovation and creativity, leadership and vision. Go up, please. The subcommittee agreed on a 45-minute interview schedule, which allowed for at least six questions per candidate. In addition, any member could ask follow-up questions to seek further clarity from a candidate. Number three is the interview process. The interview process commenced on 22 June 2021 and was completed on 25 June 2021 with all 40 candidates interviewed at Parliament. Only one candidate was approved for a virtual interview session. The subcommittee agreed that only members who participated in the interview inter in the interviewing of all 40 candidates would be eligible to deliberate in the process of recommending suitable candidates to the board of the NYTA and to report to the principal committees. During the interviews, all candidates were assessed based on a structured interview guidelines as indicated above in order to ensure an interview process that is fair and within the ambit of the NYTA Act. Number four, committee recommendations. Can you go up? The portfolio committee resolves that the following 17 candidates should be recommended for appointment by the president to serve as board members in the NYDA for a period of three years. Ms. Karabo Muhal, Mr. Mulaudi Sikak, Mr. Michali Pedro Mzilin, Mr. Lukona Afika Nguni, Ms. Pabalo Ponwane, Mr. Kutuano Isao Rakosa, Mr. Mikalo Malan, Mr. Avela Njachuban, Ms. Lebohang Mulaisi, Mr. Tabo Shingange. Can you go up, please? Mr. Alexandrias, Sarah Proctor, Mr. No, 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 it's not Mr. It's Miss. Oh, sorry, uh, Chairperson, it's my Miss Alexandra. I'm sorry for that. Uh, it's Miss Alexandria Sarah uh, Proctor, Mr. Tuli Sandel, Miss Asanda Luata, Miss Busisiwe Catherine Siabe, Miss Nomtai Bonkosi, who is a person with a disability, Miss Nompumeledo Mbata, and Miss Pell Pile. The committee considered recommending 14 candidates, however, deliberated and agreed to recommend the top 17 candidates based on their performance during the interviews, their skills and experience and demographic profile that is representative of the country. The above list of candidates is representative of demographics and geographic spread of the Republic as espoused in section 94 of the NYDA Act number 54 of 2008. The other issues considered by the subcommittee for its recommendations include gender parity, women and disabilities. A true reflection of the recommendation also finds expression in the imperatives of the Employment Equity Act number 55 of 1998, which are to promote equal opportunity and fair treatment in employment to the elimination of unfair discrimination and to implement affirmative action measures to redress the disadvantages in employment experienced by designated groups. People from designated groups are black people, Africans, Kalats, and Indians, women, and persons with disabilities. Can you go up, please? The committee further indicated that it would... Can you just... May I pull it down? Yes, can just go down a little bit, Nelly. Yes, the, the committee further indicated that it would be ideal to have four females and three males appointed to the NYTA board. 
4.1, the demographic profile of the recommended candidates. The committee considered the demographics of the country and has ensured that the recommended candidates are illustrative of this inclusivity. There is one candidate candidate who is a person with, disabil with a disability amongst the recommended candidates. The age, this figure one below shows the recommended candidates by age. Can you please go down, Nelly? So this graph shows that, it shows that most of the candidates are between the ages of 26 and 30 years. One candidate is below 26 years of age, as, is, as it is indicated in blue, and six candidates are aged between 31 to 35 years, as indicated in the yellow um, graph. Gender, 4.1.2, that is the gender. Figure two shows the recommended candidates by gender. Can you go down, please? Go, go up, yeah. Go down. I want to read the summary. Yes, figure. Just go down again a little bit. All right, it's fine. Uh, figure two shows that there are more females, which is 53%, compared to males, which is 47% among the recommended candidates. The demographics in terms of race, figure three shows the recommended candidates by race. Figure three shows that the majority of the candidates are black African with one Indian, white, and colored candidates. 4.1.4 by province. Figure four will show the recommended candidates by province. Figure four shows that the majority of the candidates are from the Gauteng province. Three candidates each represent the Western Cape and KwaZulu Natal provinces. Two candidates are from the Eastern Cape. One candidate represents Limpompo, Limpompo, Mpumalanga, and Northern Cape, respectively. Thus, seven provinces are represented. Demographics in terms of race and gender, figure five. In figure five, it shows that there are seven black African females and seven black African males, one colored male, one Indian female, and one white female. Number five, conclusion. The Portfolio Committee would like to assure citizens that it has strived to comply with all sections of the NYTA Act in its recommendation of candidates for the appointment to serve on the NYTA board. The committee is confident that all candidates recommended for the appointment have an understanding of the NYDA mandate and are passionate about youth development in the country. They should be able to serve young people in the country with distinction in addressing socioeconomic challenges facing the youth. The committee would also like to thank all candidates for making themselves available for the interviews. Further, the good work done by the support staff is acknowledged and commended report to be considered and that is the end chairperson thank you thank you very much uh, um, uh, honorable members here is the uh, report at least we are confident that now uh, we have captured everything that we have done from day one up until today and uh, even the work that we're supposed to have done uh, after our adjournment last week we have done it so we are now as the subcommittee presenting our uh, final report to the joint uh, or to the portfolio committee on women and uh, the chairperson from the NCOP will then also um take a, 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 a deal with a, the, the report accordingly with members of the NCOP. For now, uh, I, we now present uh, the, uh, the report 
to members of the Portolo Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities. Over to you, Honorable Members. I see Honorable Thongo. Uh, Honorable Thongo. Thank you very much, Chair. Greetings to Honorable Members. Uh, Chair, let me first welcome the report and recommendations from the subcommittee and also commend the work done by the sub subcommittee from the beginning of this process to date, Chair. And also say, Chair, that indeed young people are the future of this country, having to watch them express their views and contributions on how to take the NYDA forward and all the ideas they have for the NYDA really brings hope to young people and to this country. I welcome the, recommend, the recommendations that consist of persons with disabilities and young women and men from different provinces, Chair. I therefore adopt the report as presented to this committee. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Honorable Chair. Um, any other member? Okay, uh, can I get a, a, a second now for the adoption of the report? Honorable Stay has moved for the adoption of the report. Can I get a second now? Honorable Mamsonti. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. I second the report. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Mamsonti. Honorable Mamsonti. Uh, has moved for the secondment of the report, and the report is duly adopted by the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities. We will now table the report to Parliament uh, so that uh, we can now go and adopt our report in the National Assembly. And uh, thank you very much. Honorable members, uh, I think you, uh, as the Popular Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities, we want to thank uh, all candidates uh, who, uh, who came for the interviews and uh, we wish them good luck, uh, all of them, that as this report is going to be presented to National Assembly, the House will adopt our report and then after the report will be taken to the president but also the NCOP will also have to adopt the report and uh, we hopefully this time our report will be adopted by both houses and will be taken to the president for the the president to appoint the last six, uh, seven uh, uh, candidates, pushing at six, seven candidates to be appointed by the president. But thank you very much, honorable members. Over to you, Chairperson. Thank you, Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee. <clears throat> members of the Select Committee, um, I will ask Marcel, to put the report on the screen and then I will, if the report is on the screen, I won't read the report again because we are in a joint meeting, but we are dealing with the report separately. I think the report was read um, by, by, by Iswa in the portfolio committee, but all of us has listened attentively. So the report is in front of your membership. Um, the work that has been done, um, I think um, we must welcome the members of the portfolio committee who has already um, adopted the report. So, the work for the select committee on health and social services is to then um, adopt the report as is in front of us. I will ask if there is any member who wants 
to propose for the adoption of this report. Do I have any hands here? Yes, we do have chair on the Okay, board. Member Chabaleng. I see the hand of Member Chabaleng. Member Chabaleng. Okay. Yes, thanks, thanks, Chairperson. Um, I move for the adoption of the of the report as uh, discussed earlier. And congratulations to the young people who have made it on the short list. Um, that we wish them all good luck. And thanks to all the members who have participated in this process. You really made us proud. Thank you. I move for that option. Thank you, Member Chabaleng. Is there um, a seconder? I want to see your hand here. I don't see your hand. Um, members of the select committee, is there any seconder for the report? I don't see any member um, of the select committee who raised their hand. If your function is, oh, there we go. Member Nchubi. No, no, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. I think the reports reflect uh, the true precedent that you have seen since the uh, the process of start. I second the adoption of the report. Thanks. Thank you, Member Nchubi. Um, members of the Select Committee, the report is duly agreed to and the report has been adopted let me then also take the opportunity members um to thank all members of the subcommittee and also members of the select committee um for the adoption of the report the way forward will be as follows the reports will be sent to the speaker and the chairperson of both houses and then the National Assembly will then, um, the Portfolio Committee Chairperson will present the report in the National Assembly, um, which must then adopt the report. After the National Assembly has adopted the report, the report will then be presented by the Chairperson of the Select Committee in the NCLP, which will then, be tabled in a sitting of the National Council of Provinces for adoption. After the adoption of the report, it will then be sent to the president, who will then come back and made his choice of the seven members. I think um, I also need to thank all young people who participated in, in, in this process and want to wish the 17 candidates well and also just to say it very very loud and clear if the president has appointed the seven candidates there won't be any ground left that that um seven members of the National Youth Development Agency Board, well, they, they, they must run. Because what, what our young people are facing in this country is very severe and we will depend on this board to work together with government to make sure that um, young people can see a difference. I want to wish um, the young people well I know it, it has been a very, very long time since there was a board being appointed. Also want to thank the young, young people for being very patient with this process. But as the select committee, 
we can also tell that seven young people will be um, appointed on the NYDA board. We will definitely continue with our oversight work once you are appointed. We never stopped with our oversight work on the, on the NYDA, but we would love to inform you. We will work with you and we won't stop doing our oversight over the NYDA board. Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee and members um, of, the, of the National Assembly who are working with us as the members of the Select Committee on this very, very difficult process. From our side as the Select Committee members who was part of this um, subcommittee, we want to thank you also. And I want also to thank all members of the subcommittee, no matter from what political parties we were, we really showed that together, if we, if we are doing our work as members of parliament and, and putting the, 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 the political work aside, we can really achieve much in parliament. I thank you. Over to you, Chairperson. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, um, let's uh, share, we forgot last time to thank the senior citizens uh, who were watching our committee meetings every day, writing comments, and we want to thank them very much. Uh, I want to send a special thanks to Honorable Masigo's mother-in-law, who was always <laughs> writing to us, telling us, uh, every day and uh, I think uh, our, our report uh, is being adopted by both uh, committees uh, we can now move uh, for the adoption of our minutes the minutes of the eighth of uh, yeah last week minutes can Nelisa and Marcel uh, flight those minutes. Marcel? We take it that uh, members have received those minutes. Uh, your permission? Sorry, Jane. Sorry. Yeah, you did send the, the minutes to members, Ms. Marcel, eh? Honorable members, here are the minutes of the eighth. Uh, these are the minutes of our joint uh, a, a, a portfolio and select committee meeting that we held last week on the eighth. Yeah, 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 Pansy, go down. Any, uh, any? Chairperson, Chairperson, sorry, yes. Chairperson, yeah. Uban, Chairperson, Uban. Person, I don't see my name here, but I was part of the meeting. Masondo. Masondo. Yes, last week I was present. Nelisa, I know that Mam Sonti was there, she, she joined us uh, in the meeting. Are we please, Mugan Man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nelly, I need to, you can verify with your system which must on the corner, the corner, this is the corner meeting. Is it Marcel who's writing or is Nelly so? Chairperson, it's uh, Tabile sharing a screen. She's busy making the chat. Okay. Okay. Um, can we? Who else? Is there any other person that we we, we omitted? Or oh, uh, 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 let me see. Babu Nobo, Boanye. Chair? Sure. Babu you were not part of the meeting. You was, Chair. Sure. You were? Sorry, Chair, it's Honorable Mpiti. Yeah, I just want to say that he was part of that meeting. Oh, okay. It's because I didn't see them in my list, on my list. Uh, And uh, even today, Mom Shangwa is not present. Is she present? Or oh, she's not present? She's not present. Okay. Uh, a chair from the National Assembly, where your members uh, all present, it was only Utsube who was not present. Another one who was not part of the meeting. Excuse me, Chairperson. Um, Mr. Nsubi joined the meeting a little late. He was in a prior um, engagement before he joined us, Chair. He joined us late. Yes, Chairperson. Okay. Um, Uh, uh, let let make sure that uh, even the records of last week they are uh, at full reflection to this this attendance register, eh? because uh, if we confirm things and somebody else will go to those records and it does not reflect, then it will come back to us. So I'm just highlighting for all of those, even from our NA committee, Honorable Matonda is saying. She was present and I did not see her on my list. So we'll double check uh, the, 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 our record so that uh, tomorrow we cannot be held accountable for something that uh, uh, is human error. Okay, let's go to the minutes. Go, go down, go down. Go, yeah, 
uh, in fact, we adopted a, how many sets of minutes? Chairperson, we adopted 12 sets of minutes. 12 sets of minutes. Recording and, stopped. Uh, Recording in progress. Today we are adopting uh, our last uh, 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 minute. So, um, thank you very much, honorable members. Uh, can I get a mover for the adoption of the minutes? If there's nothing that needs to be corrected. Members of NA. Chair, I move MPT. Thank you very much, Honorable MPT. Honorable Masiko. Thank you very much, Honorable Chairperson. I, se I second the move for the adoption of the minutes. Thank you very much, Honorable Members. Uh, the minutes of the 8th of July have been adopted by the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities. Over to you, Chair. Thank you, Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee. Members of the Select Committee, the, the minutes of the 8th of July, 2021 is in front of you. If there is no corrections and you agree with the minutes, can we have um, a move for the adoption of the minutes? Uh, Baja moves. Um, Member Bacha moves. Is there a second? Please. Thank you, Member Lee. Um, the minutes of the 8th is then adopted by the Select Committee as presented. Over to you, Chair of the Portfolio Committee. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Members. Uh, we have come to the end of our meeting. We are now uh, this is gonna sleep now because we are done with the most difficult process. <laughs> uh, especially for myself and the chair, it was not easy to uh, go and work with the staff day in and day night. Sometimes we fight with the staff unnecessary. Sometimes we, you know. So um, our apologies uh, our, to our staff members. If we, we shouted to you sometimes, you know, sometimes you talk things, things with us because you are under pressure and you are stressful. Uh, we say, ah, man, you didn't tell me this thing and what was and what was. So uh, bear with us, you know, because we are under duress. So uh, thank you very much, uh, honorable members, and uh, hopefully, Chair, this time our, our report will be adopted by both houses. Uh, they are going along the cartel at Fafum Road. Can I come in, Chair, please? Yes, Lumpula. I'm sorry, Chair. I'm sorry, Chair, to interject like that. Just as a matter of procedure, Chair, I just want to clarify the fact that from here now, the two reports of the Select Committee and the, and the Portfolio Committee will now be published in the ATC. From there, from there the two houses will identify dates by which the two reports will be considered by the two houses. So the process of the NCOP does not rely on the process of the NA. So once the two reports are published, NCOP will, will identify its own date when that report will be done by the NCOP, as well as the NA will identify its own date by when that report will be, will be done. Then lastly, Chair, the two sets of minutes of the meetings that were held today will then be adopted by the two committees in your first meetings as you when you when the NCOP sits in their first meeting they will adopt the two sets of minutes as well as the PC when they sit they will adopt the two sets of minutes that's all thank you very much chair so okay meaning the minutes of today and the meeting of the subcommittee in the morning that's what you you you, you say Yes, Chair. Yes, correct. Okay. No, thank you very much, Nongula. Uh, 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 thank you very much, Honorable Best Members. That then, Chabili, Riawana, and that the Upizi Yanong, Ridlev Kamujimukuri, we are.
in a good good health status. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, uh, honourable members. As you are going to go to all those places in doing your oversight as members of parliament, uh, checking all those sites that were affected uh, by the looting, and uh, please stay safe. safe. Honorable Gillian, stay safe. Uh, we will pray for you, honorable members. Uh, I think we have come to the end of our meeting. I still have to go to two malls uh, with uh, our staff members here. Uh, they are wait they've been waiting for me that side. Thank you very much, honorable members. The meeting is adjourned. Che, if you have nothing to say. And long live the chair. Long live the chair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>